Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to talk about some new Steam Deck news. The first year of the Steam Deck is completely done, over and done with, already. One year of the Steam Deck, and that kind of like is almost one year of my channel focusing on the Steam Deck content, so it's quite a big a big thing really for me because I've come a long way on, on YouTube with the Steam Deck content, as you can see over the years, my previous videos, you know, I've been covering the Steam Deck quite a lot, and you guys seem to be enjoying the videos, so yeah. Let's talk about the Steam Deck's one year anniversary. So right now, Valve and Steam have some massive sales on games. They normally do it like every, a few times every year. So they do like the Christmas ones, the, the Halloween ones, the, the spring ones, which is what we're currently in now. But not only are they discounting games, they're also discounting the Steam Deck itself, which is amazing because it's 10% off the uh, original price. Like there is no other better time to buy a Steam Deck unless you was obviously trying to buy it off Facebook Marketplace or eBay. If you want to get it from Valve and you have been waiting to buy one and you didn't know when the right time was to get one, get one now. You're going to save 10% on the asking price which is equivalent to like quite a lot of money. Like think about the expensive ones which was like the, the 500. The bigger model, the 512, is like almost 600 quid so you're saving like 50 pounds off that one. Uh, equivalent in dollars just add like another ten ten dollars to that so that's like sixty dollars you're saving so it's like there, there isn't a better time to buy a steam deck and obviously if you buy it through valve and steam you can track everything you know where you bought it from if you have any issues you're not going to have any problems trying to change the warranty over i don't think that's a massive issue but just in case you wanted to just you know fully know where that's come from it's a brand new system and obviously you get all your accessories and stuff included so yeah if you did want to buy a steam deck i'd 100 percent recommend having a look now if you can afford it definitely consider it and alongside that the fact that there's massive spring sales on at the minute i've been i'm guilty myself i've bought quite a lot of games recently um which will be featured in a couple of videos coming up some some more like underrated gems i don't want to give too much away right now but Possibly Singularity might be in there, and maybe some Mafia game, but we'll see. I've got a few games up uh, up my sleeve that I purchased, I've been playing them recently, so you'll see that in the next few days. But as far as the rest of the Steam Deck stuff goes, they actually included a new feature, which they haven't really done in a while, to be fair. I've been waiting for Steam to actually implement some, or Valve to implement some new actual official features on the Steam Deck, because at the minute it's literally just get the plugins, everyone downloads the plugins, and it's kind of like up to the community to kind of make some cool stuff with the Steam Deck, uh, as far as like plugins go and just different features. But Valve, actually, I'm guessing Valve look at all the plugins and they know all about it, so they're, they're probably down with it and they're probably happy that the, the community is doing a lot of work for them. But they've actually included a brand new feature called Startup Movies. So basically, when you turn your Steam Deck on, I don't really turn mine on a lot, it's normally on wake sleep to wake mode. I don't know if this affects sleep to wake mode, I'm pretty sure it is literally just when you turn the Steam Deck from shut off to on. You can now spend your useless Steam points, they kind of have more of a use now, on these brand new startup movies. So these movies are like a range of different artists, um, I don't know if they were outsourced or they actually were done in house, maybe some of them were. but. There's some really cool different startup movies, uh, like you've got different animation styles, you've just got different kind of artwork pieces, and it kind of allows you to make your Steam Deck more unique and customised to you. So I definitely recommend it. You've probably got a shit ton of Steam Deck points that you haven't spent on anything yet, except for themes maybe, for your profile. But other than that, they're kind of useless. So yeah, I'd recommend picking up maybe a couple of starter movies and just customising your deck a bit more. As you can see on the screen now, they do look really cool. I've got my favourite ones at the minute. There's some cool portal inspired ones. There's just some weird like quirky art style ones. There's quite a lot to choose from, so you can definitely make your Steam Deck a bit more unique. Um, as far as the other one year anniversary stuff goes, that's pretty much all from Valve. They kind of put out a little video, kind of cute little video with their with a the Steam Deck, and just kind of went over a few milestones that they that they went through in the year. And just basically like a quick three minute run through of their year of, of launching the Steam Deck itself. And the fact that the Steam Deck sales are on now, like I say, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to be making a few more underrated gem videos. And yeah, as far as news goes, that's the one year anniversary of the Steam Deck, guys. I've still been making my content. I'll still be making my content for as long as I can get content from the Steam Deck. So stick around on the channel. I'm sure you'll see some, uh, some videos coming up soon. 
maybe some games you might want to play, some check out some games. I've been reading some comments recently, and you seem to enjoy the underrated games uh, segments I do. It kind of gives you some games to play on the Steam Deck. I know many of you guys' uh, backlogs are as, as long as mine at the minute, but when you've got games that are like £1, you just have to pick them up. You'll get to them eventually. I mean, they're just going to be sat there in your library, but you'll get to them eventually. Or you'll do what I do and just literally play 10 minutes of a game and then switch to another game. But yeah, that's the one year of the Steam Deck, guys. Like I say, I'll speak to you guys soon as far as my underrated gem videos go. So stick around and I will speak to you guys in the next video.